agency is responsible for science and technology related to air and space. Its mission is to shape the development of a country's space capability and to ensure that investment in space continues to provide benefits for the citizens and for the whole world. But it is still an argument in the Philippines whether or not to have our own space agency due to some circumstances and some factors. The question remains, does the Philippines really need its own space agency? If we are aiming to be globally competitive, are we really capable of having a space-competent country? In fact, a Senate bill entitled the Philippine Space Act is only one leap closer to becoming a possibility. It aims to establish the Philippine Space Development and creating the Philippine Space Agency. It was drafted by Senator Bamakino and co-authored by Senator Lauren Ligarda and duly supported by Senator Tito Soto. In establishing a space agency, let us admit that there are a lot of pros and cons to consider. But in this video, I will be laying out 8 pros of having our own space agency here in the Philippines. First on the list, it would open a door of possibilities in advancing technology and innovation, which results for a faster and efficient communication across the world. However, it would require a huge amount of money from the government. Second is that it would bridge knowledge from first-hand source of information that directs Filipino minds on interest towards space education. We can also gain more information about our country, which includes studying further on its weather and climate, more especially that the Philippines is one of the countries in the Pacific Ring of Fire. With this, we can focus more on our agriculture and livelihood selection. Fourth is that it will bring opportunities to people who has interest in studying the universe, which we call the Filipino astrophysicists. Who would know? Maybe it can unite the world as the Philippines take a step forward on progressing its status on innovation and space competency. The Department of Science and Technology, or the DOST, and the Manila Observatory also plan to establish a unified space agency to maintain and organize the space programs in promoting science and technology. Having such a vision, it could strengthen the force of our national security as they protect the boundaries of the Philippines and the disaster preparedness management for further programs to strengthen the Filipino resiliency. Most importantly, there would be a decrease in the migration rate of Filipinos who aspire to work on NASA and other space agencies, for we already have one. Lastly, it provides more understanding in studying the other celestial bodies and an advantage of unleashing new information. Let us all remember that it is important to study the space, especially the space that we occupy right now. Thank you!